the centre-right bloc, the European People's Party, remains the largest in the Strasbourg parliament. Its leader, Germany's Manfred Weber, is a powerhouse in EU politics. He has momentum now as he bids to become the EU Commission president. One message is crystal clear. We will not work together with those who don't believe in Europe, with those who want to destroy Europe. The Europe of today is our Europe. It's a Europe of EPP, of the Christian Democrats, and we will defend this Europe against the nationalists. That is what we will do. The second largest bloc is the Party of European Socialists, led by Franz Timmermans of the Netherlands. He too is eyeing the EU Commission president job to replace Luxembourg's Jean-Claude Juncker, who is leaving the post this autumn. The race now for the job will be affected by a new configuration in Parliament as the EPP and PES lose their grip. They remain the main parties, but they no longer have an absolute majority. They are obliged to seek allies. The ones most likely are the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats and the Greens. Both have clearly gained support and can claim the right to have a say. The Alliance of Liberals and Democrats is led by Guy Verhofstadt of Belgium. Its candidate for the top job is Margrethe Vestager of Denmark. There was a green wave in this election, as the urgency to combat global warming now tops many people's concerns. They could be kingmakers. Far-right nationalist and populist parties, from France to Hungary, are a strong presence, but are not working to the same song sheet. The fragmentation of power in this new parliament means choosing the next president of the European Commission is likely to be up for negotiation.